My wife and I just finished this apple danish and I'm taking the aluminum pan out to the recycling bin. Hang on, did I say aluminum? I wonder. Can I make this into a simple TV antenna? I think I'll find out, so let's hop to it. I have previously posted a couple of simple designs for TV antennas that I made from round aluminum pie pans. Although they are very easy to make, they actually do work well for locations with good UHF TV broadcast signals. There are a lot of people who watch my channel that would like to make their own simple and easy TV antenna. If you're in the right location, a pie pan makes a quick antenna for an emergency or it could just be something to experiment with. I thought a pie pan antenna would also make a great kids project, maybe even something for the school science fair. All I know is that they have become some of the most watched episodes on my channel. No matter why people are building them, they do have a certain appeal. Which brings me back to the Danish pan. Would this also make a decent antenna? I'm really not sure, but I figure I'd throw one together and see if it does. After all, there's no reason that the shape has to be round. This rectangle should still work fine. This aluminum is very light and I'll have to be careful not to damage it as I'm building it. To make this antenna is going to be very simple. First I clean and wash it out. I don't need ants, flies, or other crawlies being attracted to it. Now I'm in my workshop. I want to find out what I'm working with, so I measure the dimensions. I get roughly 5 and a quarter inches wide by 11 and a quarter inches long. That means that it has a perimeter of roughly 34 inches. Okay, I can see some of you are wondering why this measurement is so important, so let me briefly explain. Antennas have to be tuned for the frequencies you want them to receive. The pan's dimensions will determine if I'm close to the proper dimensions a properly sized antenna would be. Normally, I make hoop antennas with a diameter between 7 and 9.5 and inches. That gives me a circumference of between 22 and 29 and 3 quarters inches. These dimensions work well for receiving the UHF stations I have available in my area. This Danish pan has a corresponding perimeter measurement of about 34 inches, which is larger than I normally use. I'm not exactly sure how well this is going to work out. To start making this into an antenna, I have to remove some aluminum from the middle section. There are raised ridges in the pan already. All I need to do is cut out the aluminum from the inside ridge. I use an X-Acto blade to carefully cut along the inside of the ridge and remove the center section. I'm careful of the blade and the aluminum as they both can cut me. Next, I use a sharp pair of scissors to cut a section out of the bottom side of the pan, roughly in the middle of it. I'm removing a 3 quarter inch piece of aluminum. The pan is really flimsy, so I need to make a mount of some sort. I could just tack it to an inside wall, but I want to make an actual mount. I found this small piece of scrap one and a half inch PVC board, which will work perfectly. To mount it to the mast, I attach a one half inch pipe strap. A few staples secure the pan to the board. For a mast, I'll just use a short length of half inch PVC pipe. The pipe strap is a bit too large, so a few wraps of electrical tape make it tight. I have to make terminals to attach the coax cable to the television. It's easy to use a nail and puncture the aluminum on either side of the cutout. These small machine screws, washers, and nuts will be my terminals. To hook it up to the TV, I could just strip the ends of some RG6 cable and attach it to the antenna terminals, but you really should use a matching transformer to get the best performance. And here it is, a very simple and quick to make TV antenna. This only took about 20 minutes to put together, but I'm not sure how well it will work. Let's try it out. Up in my antenna test room, I mount the antenna into a mast. I secure a six foot piece of RG6 coax to the matching transformer. The coax then feeds a pneumatic TV receiver box, which feeds signal to this on TV through an HDMI cable. 
I aim the antenna towards the transmitter tower for some local stations and run a channel scan. Normally, in my location, these small antennas will receive between 36 and 39 channels with a reception range of around 25 miles. This antenna is picking up a very respectable 38 channels. Each channel is clear with a stable signal. Overall, even though the pan size isn't ideal, it's performing just slightly less than one of my 9.5 inch pie pan antennas. That's really not bad for something I was just going to toss out. I have a lot of viewers asking me what this TV will receive if I don't even use an antenna and just use the 6 foot piece of coax. Well, that's a valid question, so let's try it out. I disconnect the antenna and I keep the coax attached to the TV. And then I run another channel scan. From past experience, I can usually receive between 15 and 19 channels just by using coax. Today, I can pick up 19 channels. Since the antenna pulled in 38 channels, it picked up an additional 19 stations. So yes, the antenna does work. Also, without the antenna attached, over 20% of the stations I am getting have issues with weak signals and are pixelating and have sound dropouts. So there you have it, another easy to make antenna that works pretty well. Please don't think this simple antenna is going to perform like a better designed TV antenna. These are simple and fun to make. If you want to maximize your reception, I have numerous other episodes showing you how to build much more efficient TV antennas. Most will have much better performance and a much farther range, and most aren't that difficult to build. Why don't you check a few of those episodes out? Well, that's it for today. If you make this or any of my antennas, leave me a comment and let me know how it works. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to please high five that like icon, jingle the notification bell, and be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot more antennas in the works, so until next time, keep watching TV. Ouch, that hurt.